Well, you know, tonight learning is really a lifelong endeavor. Yeah, that's certainly the case in Brown County tonight, where the community is working to turn an unfortunate occurrence on the web into a positive. Tonight at 6 o'clock, our own Kevin Rader has that story tonight from Nashville. It's been a difficult time here at the Brown County Schools, the administration office, and really the entire district. And we're talking about more than just the weather. It's a post that was put up on the web that led to misunderstanding. I've learned a lot about myself, about how I can better communicate, um, about how I could open my ears a little bit more and listen more than maybe speak. A substitute teacher in the Brown County School System, Richard Gist, found himself in the superintendent's office Thursday, expressing remorse for reposting of a Halloween blackface picture of him posing as singer Bob Marley that was taken 10 years ago. I was trying to educate myself as to why they would think that me representing myself as somebody I admire would be insulting or offensive. Quickly got ugly, yes. Somebody uh, explained to me that, that it was offensive. He was brought to the attention of Dr. Laura Hammock, the Brown County Superintendent. There are occasions um, when you make a mistake and that you have opportunities to repair that harm. And when you step up and you can, can make that happen by educating yourself, and engaging a di in a dialogue, um, great things can happen. Initially, Hammock considered termination, but upon talking with Gist, the two have decided the substitute teacher, who also serves as assistant track and football coach, could work together to make this a teachable moment. We're really focused on ways in which we can really make this a learning opportunity to educate our boys and girls in our community. Um, we see this as a real teachable moment. I feel terrible for how I portrayed myself or, or how I put myself out there for people to perceive me and the actions that I took that really were offensive to other people. Um, you know, whether that was my intent or not, the, the fact that I insulted somebody or offended somebody or didn't even listen to them is more important than what my intent was. So fittingly enough, it is a teaching moment, a teachable moment for a school district and an entire community. In Brown County, Kevin Rader, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Don Griffin with the NAACP in Bloomington says this solution where Gist gets to keep his job and works to educate others is the best way to address this situation.